Authorities are now working to identify more of the victims. Many of them were from the Bay Area and surrounding regions. KPIX 5's Emily Turner is in Fremont. It's a somber start to the school day here at American High School in Fremont as these students as well as the faculty learn that the Southern California deadly boat fire now directly affects them. Uh, definitely one of my favorite teachers. Raymond Chan taught physics at American High School in Fremont. This was his fourth year with the district and he was well loved for his enthusiasm in the classroom and his commitment to education. Physics is really hard for a lot of people, but I think he tried to make it interesting for everyone. Uh, I, don't know, I just like teachers that try their best, really care about their students. Chan left a job in the tech sector for the classroom, and students that liked him say that passion for learning and giving back are what made him great. A love of math and sciences is something Chan shared with his daughter Kendra. She was a marine biologist in Ventura and a fellow diver. Both were on board at the time of the fire and assumed dead. Well, I was actually in the classroom with the students when the principal went in to read the statement and let them know, and it was just utter shock. Grief counselors are on campus to support the student body as well as the faculty and staff. They got the news yesterday afternoon and say they're still struggling to make sense of it all. The emotional impact is huge, and it's just something that you can never totally prepare for. Even now, it's, I don't know, like, how something like that could happen. Uh, I don't know, it's just so sudden. Fremont Unified School District says they'll keep these grief counselors and the psychologists on campus as long as everybody here needs them. They want to make sure that the student body as well as the faculty and staff get the support they need.